so here's a good one for you. We've got shut down on phase for all of these. And our ice cream freezers are in the 30s and 40s right here. Now I've already got it back on, but all the lights were on here. We had power, green light here, but still shut down on phase. So take this out and I put this wire, this double wire here was over here on number eight, right there. This purple and orange wire was on number eight. So if you look on this phase monitor, you can see that normally closed is between one and two. So one and two is that one and that one. So those were closed. Now when you take this out, it opens that back up. And then you can see that one and eight is normally open. So whenever this energizes, it closes to eight and that's what tells it that the phase is okay. So I just put number eight on number one and turned power back on because I did have power off when I did that. And I can leave this out. As soon as I turn power back on, it started because that's a closed circuit now, which is what this would be if the contacts in here between one and eight were, were working and good, but they're not. We're stuck, I believe. It's not the contact points that are messed up. It's the coil in there that switches the contacts back and forth because we're still stuck between number one and number two instead of the contact points between number one and number eight not working we're stuck between number one and number two. And the reason I know that is because as soon as I plug this back in and it turns green, it closes the circuit between number one and number two and therefore gives me the alert of shut down on phase, which we saw just a minute ago. I go here. Just a minute ago, it said shut down on phase. I don't know if you remember that. That's because I plugged this back in. So I had the whole rack was down because of something so simple like this. And this is, while you're waiting to get a new one, this is what you can do temporarily, of course, to get it back up and running and get the ice cream freezing again. Leave this unplugged, go get another one, come back, switch those around, stick it in there, and you're done. And then so, in the meantime, we've got, hang on. There, maybe now you can see a little better. In the meantime, we got the ice cream freezers getting cold again. But we got one B4 in defrost. It don't need to be in defrost right now. That's the last thing we want it to be doing. So after you put your password in, you go in there and you find the defrost. You go to service, you find defrost. All right, so this is where I fucked up, guys. You gotta go right here. You click on defrost operation right there and you turn it off. And you, let's see, where's that? Scroll down, scroll down. It's gonna be this one. Hey, come on. It's gonna be this one. Right there. All right, it's definitely not this. I just decided to leave this in the video so you guys can see. I learned from my mistakes. I think. We're gonna hit that. Uh, we're gonna... God, guys, I'm looking at this now, and thank God it's got freaking safeties, and it shut it off with defrost, man. I fucked up. Let's see if we pulled it out of defrost. Uh, come on, man. All 
Aha. Look. I pulled it out of defrost just now. Why did they shut off? Alright, something's wrong. Why the hell did it just shut off? Okay, whatever I just did made something happen. I don't like that, I need to undo that. All right, so let's go back to... Uh, all right, so after I worked with that for like 15 minutes, I got it figured out, got it back on, so all good. Luckily, nothing bad happened. All right, I had me a little trouble there, but I got it back on now. Compressors one and number two have come on. Increasing capacity. I'm not gonna mess with it anymore. If it's if one of these damn circuits is in defrost, I'm just gonna let it let it finish its defrost out. Anyways, I was gonna show you guys that if I plug that in, it'll shut it all down and it'll give me shut down phase phase shut down alarms up here but I'm not gonna do that anymore you can just go back to the beginning of the video and, and look at those if you want you'll see how it was in phase loss so I'm gonna watch it for a little while and then I'm gonna go open a supply house and get me a couple phase monitors that way I got one on my truck for later and that's gonna be it for this call so, got another compressor that just came back on. Let's check it out. Yeah, compressor three. Compressors one, two, three are on. But I'm not gonna leave until I make sure it gets cold and these ice cream freezers get where they need to be because they are in the 30s 30s and 40s. So now after a little bit of video editing and, editing and watching it cool, I feel good about it running. I think it's going to run just fine while I go get a phase monitor. No more of my little screw ups happening. So I'm going to go get that, come back and change it. I'm not going to record that though. Just wanted to show you guys about phase monitors and how to get through one of these. Hope you guys liked it, enjoyed it. I'll catch you later.